at this point this was my first game doing the badge method for playmaking all the other progression i had on the playmaking section was just from getting my shooting badges and sometimes i got double team and i passed you saw i literally got almost three badges in one game i am playing on seven minute quarters hall of fame difficulty seven minute quarters now after the game you saw i went to my badges and i didn't even have no passing badges so what i did i took off all these extra badges put it on lob city and put it on needle threader and called it a day this helped me get so much more badges quicker against tough teams. I didn't even have to simulate any tough teams. I just kept jumping in the game right after another, wasting no time on seven minute quarters. This was the gameplay before you saw me switch my badges and I was still able to get so much lobs off on a such on such a superior defensive team with DeJounte Murray on it and DeMar DeRozan. San Antonio got them clamps for guards. All right, and we still gave them 29 assists off lobs. Now the assist method I do is the same as what I did on Xbox at the beginning of the year. I call the screen, once I get to the paint, I hold L2 or LT for Xbox and throw the lob. You wanna be on a team that can catch lobs, first of all. You don't wanna be on a team that they can't dunk for nothing. You wanna be with them lob city finishers because it's gonna help you get your rep fast. Literally, all you want to do is throw lobs, whether that's on a fast break, whether that's in a regular pick and roll, or whether it's with the option where you can just press L1, then press R1. Select the person you want to come set the screen like I just did for JaVel McGee because he was the best dunker on the floor. And then literally throw the lob. As you see, LeBron is the best right now. It didn't go to him. Danny Green was cutting IQ, so I threw him the, the lob and just hope he finished it. Kyle Kuzma, regular pick and roll. If DeMarcus Cousins is on the floor and you're on the, on the Lakers, don't fling him the ball for nothing. Don't throw him the ball in big for nothing. And Kian dunks. He's going to miss all of the alley-oops. Do not throw the ball to him unless it's a flashy pass. He'll get it done. I'm, I'm warning you right now from experience. Throw that to Anthony Davis or LeBron or Kyle Kuzma. All right. Heck, even throw it to Rondo. <laughs> Just don't throw it to Boogie. All right. Because <laughs> he's going to make you rage. Now, what I did personally was I maxed out my shooting badges. Then I jumped right into the playmaking badges to tackle all this in one day. I literally took a two days break from 2K. And in one day, I got my new player right with this new patch. You can max your build out easily as well. Now, you're going to get a lot of turnovers doing this. As I said a long time ago, a lot of turnovers. What you're going to want to aim for is at least 29 to 40 lobs in seven minute quarters on Hall of Fame. This is the 12 minute quarter method on steroids because a lot of people only getting 40 lobs on 12 minute quarters anyways. And you're going to be getting two to three badges per game with this on your off games. You're going to get like one, almost two. But most of the time it's going to be two badges per game. Sometimes you'll get lucky and get over 40 assists and you'll get three badges a game. If you want to go to 12 minute quarters and waste an hour and, and drain yourself, that's up to you. I do not recommend that me personally, but if you're like me and you don't want to sit there and grind for an hour on my career, it feels more refreshing when you finish one game, you jump another, finish one game, jump another. And within one hour, you're getting triple what you would get on 12 minute quarters almost regardless you're going to be getting your badges max quickly and i will say this if you are a person that gets too much turnovers you're not going to be getting as much badge points as you see me getting there's games i had more assists than the first game and i got less badge points because i had a lot of turnovers turnovers do matter i i believe Based off experience, if you get well over 10 turnovers and your assist is not in the 30s, you're not going to get too much like a 49,000 as you saw, saw right there. You're not going to get that much off your playmaking badge progression. But if you get like eight turnovers and 30 assists off lobs, you're definitely going to get a lot of points, 40 to 50,000 on your badge progression for playmaking. Now this game, I had a, a tough time because Siakam and Ibaka was taking all my lobs out the air. I had 10 turnovers. 
I was still doing decent. So I did expect to get at least 29,000 bass progression points. And I did expect to basically go on my last badge. As you saw, I got 35,000 for a 26 and 10. If I'm correct, I saw 26 assists. You don't need to waste your time playing 12 minute quarters. All right, you don't need to do that. You can also do what I just did. When it comes to the third quarter and you got at least 24 assists off lobs and you're up, simulate out. It'll speed up the process and you still get a fat 30,000 off that game. And I maxed out my playmaking badges that quick. That quick. Today's Friday. I wasn't planning on releasing this video till Saturday. But because it's the weekend and I know y'all already fed up with this game, I'm going to release this method so while we're waiting on a patch, you can get your player right if you haven't already. Get your new player right if you haven't already, like I just did. And get your badges because they might patch that as well. With that being said, big up on yourself. Big up. The Lord Almighty. We don't count nothing at all. More videos on the way. Yard man.